Hey guys, Arianya here, and welcome back to another 3 OP. In the last episode, we got rid of, uh, well, we didn't get rid of the forest fire. We saved fuel, and then it started raining, and the rain got rid of the forest fire. And then we realized up on this wall, there's a piece of Nala's dress. So, I don't know what's going on. Boney's really sad. I'm really sad. All of the forest animals are acting weird. Just what's going on? Talk to me, Wes. Oh, Flint. Don't tell me you intend to climb this cliff. I know how you feel, but scaling this cliff face is just too dangerous. But you know, maybe my son could be of use. I don't know if it will help any, but let's get him here so he can try. Well, okay. I'll need to borrow Boney from a bit. Alright, go ahead. Boney, come here. Good boy. Boney, bring my son back here. My son's name is... His name is Duster! He is an amazing character. He's a strange but nice guy with unexpected skills. And as you can see, he is sleeping! His name is Duster. Got that? Here, have a sniff of the sock. Gah! That's ripe! D don't forget the smell now. Oh, I can't believe you're making him smell that! Oh, yeah, that's ripe, alright? <laughs> Poor dog. I've tied a yellow ribbon to your collar. Show him the ribbon and he'll know exactly what's going on. Now fetch! Woof woof, you can count on me! Go, Boney, go! This has to be the most epic scene ever. This, just watching Boney go and run and passing by pe- Oh, excuse me. Passing by people to find Duster. Here, he's trying to find out the way. He found it, now he's on his way again. Oh, how's it gonna get inside? Oh no! Duster must be inside. Yes, there he is, he's sleeping. <laughs> Come on, Boney, you can wake him up. Just keep barking at him. No. No? Do you? No? He's dragging Duster while sleeping through the forest. That has to be the most ridiculous scene I've ever I've ever seen. Because wouldn't you wake up from all the rain? Well, apparently Duster's woken up now. As you can see, he has a limp. That's really important. It just it's part of, it's part of his character, and it's just it's really nice to know. Duster, at long last, it is time to put the thief skills you've studied since childhood to the test. Now, you show us just show us your wall staple technique right here, right now. I did study that technique, but this is my first time using it for real. I hope this works. Now, do you see how that one patch in the rock is, uh, that one column is dimmer? That means that the area is, scal is scalable. So, when we have dust in our party, and we see a wall like that, we can check it and he can make us a, a ladder of sorts. <laughs> it's gonna time skip for us because this is a very, very high wall. Alright, that should do it. Flint, be careful coming up. Will do. Let's go. Thank you so much, Jester. Oh, and the rain stopped. That's really weird. I have a slight leg handicap, but I'll do my best. Please take me with you. Your handicap is none of our concern. You are such an amazing guy. Alright, let's go ahead and save this frog. Yes. Please be careful out there. Yes, of course. Now look, it's Hanawa. Yes, yeah, some clothes in all his dress. Aw, oh, that's so sad. Alright, let's go ahead and check out this cave. What's in here? Some treasure? Let's go ahead and check it out. Got some nut bread. Now what are these guys? Mischievous moles. Okay. Ah, slow music. As you can see, Duster has his own music too, so as I said in the last episode, everyone will have their own sound effect when they attack. 
See if I can get a back attack on these guys. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in this present. Some beef jerky! Awesome! Alright, so let's continue on. This way. Hey, Flint, there's someone here. So it's pig masks again. Now, if you guys didn't save at that frog, you... Just better hope you have a safe state or something. What are those? Are they human? What are they doing? Go investigate. Oh, he, he noticed us. Oh, now he noticed us. What are they going to do? Are they going to fight us? No, instead they're going to mess with their little machine here. Oh my goodness. That looks so painful. It's just a caribou. Why did I do it? Oh. Look at him. He has... He saw a mechanical too. Oh my goodness, that is so sad. Reconstructed caribou suddenly attacked. This is the boss of um, this area. So let's go ahead. Um, I believe we can heal up a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll have Bony heal us up because he's the fastest. Now, Duster, he has thief tools. He has the wall stable for now. He will gain more, but the wall stable, I believe, um, can basically stop enemies like it'll. Uh, staple them down essentially so let's go ahead and just kick and you can you don't have anything okay that'll just have to heal with you and that bread okay ah I hope I can come to this okay there we go Uh oh, when was there going on? That hurts! Okay, let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. Let's go ahead and heal you, and heal you. Alright, good, 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 good. Okay, go ahead and heal up Duster. Oh no, it's gonna hit us again! Ouch! <laughs> I kind of spazzed there in the first hit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try and heal up uh, Bony and Duster. Okay, go ahead and heal yourself. Because Bony doesn't have any healing right besides the the big tan, I believe. So, or the big down. So, I'm gonna hope that this will be okay. Oh no. Stop that. We didn't wanna hit. You. We don't wanna bother you. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and use this on everybody because everybody's missing a lot of health. 40 is good, 60 is amazing, and 40 is also very amazing. Let's wait a bit before he hits us. Okay. Nobody get any combos out on that turn. It's a good thing we can go again. We go. Okay, he's done. That boss isn't too too bad as long as you can get combos out or just to heal up enough to keep you alive. So you can kill him. Everyone's leveling up, so everyone's about the same exact level. And that's the boss down. Let me scare them off. Alright, so I'm actually gonna go back and save again because I don't have to go through that again. <laughs> like I said, it's okay to oversave because. You can never save too, too much. Now let's go. Let's follow after them. Oh my goodness, what is that? That must be the, that flying saucer we saw flying above us when we were 
um, Hinawa, when she was writing her letter. What did it say, Sparrow? Allow me to explain skills to you. Oh, sorry for being so sad. Oh, uh, I don't care about this. I already explained it. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that was something that if you go over here to status, you can check everyone's, uh, skills. So. Yes, I was right about those. And, uh, yeah, pin enemy down. There you go. And this, yeah, reveals information and weakness. Okay, so I was right. Here's another claw mark. The cliff here has crumbled. It doesn't like there's any way to cross. So I guess we have to go back. Let's go ahead and do so. Nope. It's fun again. There we go. Let's go back down here. Oh, Flint and Duster. I'm so glad you're alright. We cleared those big trees out of the way so everyone has gone up ahead. We couldn't have done it without Lyd and Isaac's help. Oh, well, let's go. I'm glad the thief arts proved useful, but our problem still hasn't been solved. You're right, we're not when the boys. Everyone seems so cold. I'm actually burning up, though. We're so cold. I hope Hanawa uh, uh, doesn't catch a cold, too. Aww. Flint! We found the kids! It seems they fall into the river and washed up here. I will look up for Boney. You just hurry and see them. Come on, Boney. Yeah, come on, come on. Let's go see them. Klaus and Lucas, let's go. Come on, Duster. Let's go. I'm sure. Alright, let's keep going. Uh, it doesn't matter. I just want to go see my kids. Let's go. Uh, I'm actually not going to save my game here. We just saved. It's okay. Oh, Flint, Duster. This way, this way. Yes, I'm on my way. If you would just stop talking to me. Oh, there they are. Show me my kids. They're right there. It's Klaus and Lucas. I made some in it tea, Flint. Please have some, it'll warm you up. Here, everyone else should take a break and get warm too. They must be freezing. Not only were they in the rain, but they were also in the river. Alright, so let's talk to Tessie. Yeah. I'm just going to talk to everyone. You guys can pause if you want to read it, but... I think we have to talk to everyone. No? Okay. Well, let's try talking to the boys. Okay, what do we do? I'm kind of still semi-blind here. Oh, here we go. Guess we just had to wait. What's up, Bronson? Did you find her? Where's Hanawa? I should say, but just try stay calm and hear me out. I have good news and I have bad news. What do you want to hear first? No, let me start with the good news first. I picked up I picked up a giant Drago Fang. It'll make for a great weapon. I figured you could probably use it. As for the bad news. The bad news is... It's where I found the Drago Fang. It was... in your... It was pierced through your wife's heart.
one's ever been thrown into Tasmali's jail before. You have the honor of being the first. Flint, you gave Ollie and Abbott a real wallowing, but they're all right now. About Hanawa. I can only offer my deepest condolences. Or con condolences? I can never say that when I'm completely ruining the moment. I'm sorry, guys. Condolences. That's how you say it. Still, why would a Drago attack someone? They're such friendly creatures. Take it easy in here for a while. I know you must be having a hard time with this, but try and get some sleep. The Drago fang that was stuck in Hanala's chest. I'll hold on to it for you. When you get out of here, come by, come drop by my house and get it. Don't forget now. You can only imagine what must be going through his head. There are many theories as to what happened exactly because the game doesn't come out explicitly and tell you exactly how or why she died. Instead, it, all, you, all you're given is what it's already been given. All you know is that the Jogos are really friendly. If you remember the beginning of the game in the first episode, the kids were able to bash, like ram into them and they were perfectly fine with that. So why would they suddenly attack Kanawa? There's not much given besides that, so... I'm not exactly sure. Oh, there we go. The lock is rusted. Uh, is that going to trigger it? Uh, trigger it? <laughs> I'm not too sure how long you have to wait in here, but... So... I'm sorry I was quiet the, the entire scene. It's just, it's way too touching, and I think that my commentary would have ruined it. And, uh, come on. Trigger, please. I want to get out of here. <laughs> what if I... Nope. <laughs> what trick is this? Oh my goodness. Come on. Get me out of here. There we go. Hi, Klaus. That is me, Klaus. I told Lucas to come too. But he's been crying at mom's grave all this time. Dad, I'm gonna leave this apple here. The core might be hard, but... The core. The core might be hard to eat, but be sure you eat it. I'm gonna get stronger. I'm gonna get so strong, even Jogros wants to make a trance against me. Dad, I... Oh, let's eat the apple. Yes. Flint got the apple. <laughs> he rubs it off on his pants before eating it. Oh, whoa, inside the apple there was a hand file. Alright, now with that, we just use it against the lock. And we can escape. So like I said, there are many different theories about how she could have died. Whether she did it to save the kids, which is completely uh, believable. Whether she did it to... um. No, hi, Duster. Whether she did it to protect herself or to sacrifice herself, like, there's so many different theories. You can look them up on the internet. Um, but all you really need to know is that she did, whatever she did, she did it for her love of the kids. And she knew that she had no choice. And, um, because of Drago, if it was that violent, it would have gone for the kids. And I'm sure, as a mother, she would do anything and everything to keep her kids safe, so. Think of it however you want, but I'm not really sure what to say. What happened to Hanawa was a terrible tra tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. Hanawa's burial ended without incident. Lucas has been crying at her grave ever since. His poor little heart seems like it's about to break in two. If there's anything I can do for you, just let me know any time. Alright, so, uh, apparently we missed her burial, which is really, really sad, but... It's... Clackety, clackety, this is Reggie's house. Nope, there's a treasure chest, let's go ahead, or treasure chest, a uh, present. Let's go ahead and get it, we can get some nut bread here. And now let's, let's go walk around and get some fresh air. Thank you. 
I just know where to go now. Let's go and go to the cemetery. The cemetery is right up this way. It's not too hard. There are signs if you need uh, to figure out where you're going to go, and I'm sure I'll be using them, but for now. Let's talk to this guy. His name is Nipple Light. Mr. Flint. This was such a terrible tragedy. Words fail me. I've humbly prepared a grave of the finest quality for you. Your wife's resting in it right now. When the time comes, you'll be able to rest right beside her. It's a top-notch grave, it is. Thank you. I guess we should go check it out. I'm not going to talk to anyone else. I'm just, I'm just going to go. This is my wife's grave. Let me go. Dad, I thought you said anything had come true. As long as we prayed from the bottom of our hearts. Mom can't even punish me anymore now. I don't want it like this. Oh, long time no see. It's me. I haven't been to the village in a while. But I rushed straight here after I heard about Hanawa. Just after I had such a wonderful time with my grandkids. Sorry. Say, come to think of it, where's Klaus? Is he not with you? He said he was going to see you, but then he never came back. Lucas, do you know where Klaus went? No. Lucas, it's not good to keep secrets from people. Don't tell me Klaus went after that detestable Drago to try to. N n no, he didn't take Dad's homemade knife and go into the mountains to kill the Drago. Ah. It's a good thing you raised him to be honest, Flint. Does Klaus honestly think a homemade knife can kill a Drago? Lucas, why didn't you stop him? Well, I said I wanted to go too, but he said no because he was going alone. So you just let him go? You fool! How can you be mad at him? What's he going to do? Maybe that was a little harsh of me. Flint, it sounds like Klaus is headed into the mountains to kill the Drago that killed his mom. We're in a race against time, but this can't be any ordinary Drago we're dealing with here. We're going to need the proper equipment first. Get a weapon to fight the Dragos with, and then hurry to my place. All right. Come get me. Come get me at my house after you've gotten yourself a weapon. Do you remember where I live? If you don't, then I have Old Mabson working on your map for you. I think he's in the town square. Bouquet of flowers offered to everyone's beloved Hanawa. Wife of Flint, mother of the twins, Lucas and Klaus. The Klaus and Lucas, daughter of Alec. May the beautiful Hanawa rest in peace here for all time. There we go. Apparently they were really loved in the village. Flint and Hanawa and all of them. It's really sad to see her go and it's really sad to see how the kids are taking it. Just... I can only imagine what it must be like for them. Hello! Talk to me. You gonna talk to me? You just gonna fix your hat? Okay. <laughs> Actually, we need to go back to the village and get that weapon. If you remember, Bronson said that he can, uh, he can make us a new weapon for it. Well, first let's go to the bazaar. Now, since there aren't any, there, we don't have a money system, we can actually just take items from the shop. I'm not gonna have any of these, but there is an item in here that I do want. I believe this is it. Yes. Flea charm. Thank you. And let me double check. Flea charm. Yes, that's what I wanted. Okay, good. Is this his house? Nope. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and equip the fleet chime real fast. Yeah, look at that. It's, it gives us three more. So that's really good. Oh, here it is. Flint, just take this and go. It's the Drago Fang. I made it into a weapon. The only thing that can pierce the tough hide of a Drago is a Drago's Fang. There's no other weapon that can beat a Drago. Got the Drago Fang. I realize this, must be, this might be tough for you to accept, but you should take it. Thank you. Alright guys, in light of uh, the last video being a little long, I'm actually going to end this off a bit short. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and save and if you guys enjoyed the video then enjoyed it and are enjoying this LP let us know or let me know <laughs> it's only me let me know by leaving a comment below and liking the video favoriting the video uh, sharing it with your friends all that good stuff liking it yeah and if you want to look out for more of my videos go ahead go ahead and hit the subscribe button above this video and you'll be notified when I update every single day and uh, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new video so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're having a fantastic day and I guess I'll see you later. See you guys.